Alright, so I was just kind of going through some YouTube or whatever, and I found uh, an Overwatch Curious video about a May glitch where she could go through floors and stuff, which I thought was pretty cool on its own. But then he started showing that you could go through maps and stuff, and that got me thinking, I'm going to try and get out of every single map. And I'm going to try and fly around them. So, let's start with Hanamura. Oh yeah, let me just change... something. Oh, uh, where is it? Yeah, cooldowns. And for... Farah, because she's going to be the one that we switch to once we find the spot. Unlimited fuel, yeah. There it is. And movement speed. Nice, alright. Let's just get right into it then. So you do it with May, and you find a roof that does not have anything above it. Wow. Okay, that was easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> yeah, you just put a wall under the wall and you go through it, which is kind of like an old glitch on Eco Pant Point Antarctica. Nice. I've always wanted to fly around Hanamara like this, see how small or big the city really is. Sorry for the lag, by the way. Uh, yeah, my computer doesn't like to stream Overwatch that much. So let's go explore. Maybe we'll see what that is all about. I didn't expect that to be so easy. I guess you actually can just do it in the spawn rooms. <laughs> you can see we got a Google Street View. Yeah, this is actually a big city. From where you stand over there and you move around like this and stuff, like left and right. Whoops. It always looks so tiny. That you never really <coughs> you never really see the city up close like that, so Yeah, there's the glitch once again. Oh looks like the wall actually just cuts out right there. So we can probably just sit on top of the, nope, not that, but the map. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. Too bad I wasn't able to discover this first. That would have been pretty neat, but regardless, someone found this glitch, so... Might as well take advantage of it. Let's see, this building should derail this train, or... Oh, okay, yeah. This train it does not care about buildings. Oh, nor does this one. So right there, <laughs> goes right through it. Oh, look at that, that's like this entire city under. Lock. Oh, that was the kill gate. My bad. Maybe I should switch respawn times on the next map and make fire go faster. But yeah. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna go see what Mount Fiji's like. Or Fuji. I guess I have no idea, actually. Well, there's where the train spawns. <laughs> so 
yeah, I invited some friends to join as well to help me in breaking all these maps and exploring them. So later on in the stream you might hear some more people. Wow, holy crap, this mountain is massive. Like, it almost doesn't look like it's moving. At all. I just figured this little prop off in the distance. But no, <laughs> they actually just made a mountain. I really hope that they put a little message inside. <laughs> or it's just a flat. Flat like this is all just one sided mountain. Avalanche! <laughs> Wait, is it a solid object? Or is my missiles just... No, okay. Oh hey, we've almost made it! Look how tiny the city is now! That's crazy. Oh, yep, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's just one-sided. Oh, for a second I thought I was standing, but no, that's right, the mountain's just enormous and does not move whenever you do. Wait, I'm gonna fall off here. Uh, get the settings adjusted a bit. And head on to the next one. That's not Farah. There's Farah. Movement speed, yes. Movement gravity. I kinda like the way it is now, so no. I don't know what that is, but let's just turn that up. Hover jet's vertical speed. I know what that might be. Yep. Awesome. So there's Farah's adjustments. And now let's make respawn time normal. Or better. 13%. Hold on, just got a message. Tiger, one of my friends just told me that Twitch was messing up. I'm gonna use my phone real fast to let her know because I don't want to disrupt the chat and crap like that, so. I just changed the map up as well to. Ooh, Horizon Lunar Colony. I knew you could get out of this one with another method, but the method was just so inconsistent and so frustrating that I never really cared to make a video on it. But yeah, it was pretty neat, and then I figured out how to change heroes as well, so... All good stuff. Let me just let her know. Hey, she can join in if she wants. Alright, so it's just May. We're not in the spawn I expected to be in. But yeah, <laughs> just like that. Oh, whoops, that's back in the map. Whoa, whoa. Is this new? I don't remember that. But. So yeah, this is the glitch that I saw on Overwatch Curious first. Was the fact that you could get through floors and stuff. But then if there wasn't a floor there, you could do this. Whoops. Alright, so I'll just have to switch heroes quickly. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, crap, nope. Uh, 
I've broken Overwatch. I think it's trying to like give me two different gravities at once or something. I don't know. Yay! Oh. <laughs> you go so fast when you're going up. Yeah, this place is actually pretty tiny. But let's go explore a bit and then try to fly to Earth. Alright, so maybe I should have stopped. I'm just gonna fly up in the air real fast and turn off this how intense jump jacks are. There. <laughs> we still have time to spare. Look at that. Uh, the moon's just a little. Or yeah, not little, gigantic plateau. I guess you could call it. So let's see if we can explore inside of here a bit. Ah, uh, nope. None of that. There we go. Alright. Oh crap, I almost fell. <laughs> Always cracks me up whenever rockets go straight through the ground. It's like, nope, <laughs> screw physics, I'm out. Oh, hey! I don't know if you can see this from inside the map. Which. I can't imagine that you would be able to from where those windows are, but yeah. U.S. flag. I don't know if... Let's look for that, actually. Yes, you can. Okay. But you have to be flying up here. I need to be aware of where I'm at, though, because it seems like the kill gate's more... Uh... Yeah, it's higher than I thought it would be. Yeah, from the looks of it, Earth is just a part of the skybox. Maybe it is. Let me just make sure I have Farah's movement speed all the way up. It is indeed. So there is the ring known as the Horizon Lunar Colony. Let's see what this building is and I'll head on to the next map. Whatever that may be. Where's the flag at? Huh, can't see it anymore. I wonder if it's not loaded in anymore. Oh wait, we're almost there. I just want to see what that is, if it's a rock or something. Oh, these mountains aren't as fun. They're just flat 2D. Pieces of gray. Well, now there's a child upstairs crying. But yeah. Well, I just heard my mom say, you don't think he broke his arm, do you? <sighs> Alright, well, 
I have done Temple of Anubis, so I'm not going to redo that just for the sake of not repeating things. You can find that on my channel if you want. Um, I'm going to go make sure my brother is okay. So I will be right back after that. Okie doke. Yeah, my brother just fell over and was crying, so. My parents were just being dramatic about it. But yeah, this is pretty self explanatory now. Jump up on to object, change to Farah, and run off into the wild. I oh, actually can't. This is invisible wall. But yeah. Let's go see these guys, massive giants. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot they're animated. Oh, they're animated with no physical value. Yeah, this looks about right. Oh, that's not physical either. Kind of want to go see what that ship is. realize it's a dam. Yo, what are you walking on? And what was that? Oh yeah, look at all these hover cars over here. Look at all these these hover cars. See is <laughs> you see these these Hover cars? I don't. Oh yeah, there's a car on the Horizon Lunar Colony that has wheels. It's the one that's on point B, and also all the rovers. But also on Junker Town, that bike. The motorcycle has wheels on it. So, uh, Blizzard needs to get on that. <laughs> this isn't the 60s anymore. Cars don't have wheels. It's like most of the city is just floating. It didn't, most of the maps have at least the ground. Textures like, uh, what's it called? Black Forest does, Castillo does, Necropolis. Oh, hey, we can finally get a Necropolis fully. That's good. Let's 
Yeah, if you remember from the videos I made on Necropolis, the farthest you could get was just dashing below the kill gate. Everywhere else is just like suicide, so. See, this is Volskaya Industries from a distance. I'll fly over the map a bit as well. I'll just kill myself and go back over there. I'm a sharp flyer. Yes, weave, bob and weave through those buildings. That's where this car goes. Yeah, it just disappears. Oh, for a second I thought it was just a completely separate part of the map. But now it's just point B. Alright, sorry about that. My dad was yelling for me. I oh, see. So yeah, this is a physical object. I figured. Uh, actually, can you get into this spawn room? Oh crap! Yeah, maybe this is a part where precision is not good for what I've done. Uh, yeah, you can't even get in there, anyways. Well, yeah, it seems like that's it for Volskaya. I'll be back again to see what my father wants. Alright, hopefully this is the last time I have to leave, but I just had to turn on the pool pump. Yeah, with that out of the way, let's go to Eichenwald. See what's at the back of the castle for once and for all. I think, or no, no, yeah, just once and for all. Oh, whoops, I have the, <laughs> the chat was behind something. Oh. I guess it actually does matter where I do this one at. Hey. There we go. Let's get outside the borders and see if we can stand on this. We can. And this as well, yes. Alright, let's 
check out the castle. So other than this... Oh, hey! This is a physical object as well. Wow. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, not this part. see the Dark Souls room. <laughs> yep. Oh, let's go over and explore the city. I believe this is all the same layout as uh, bl the Black Forest. I think so. Except for this. The city is entirely 2D. Wow, that is a trick. <laughs> I, uh, I wonder how this looks like a city from over there then. Oh look, there's Sydney. Sydney thing? I don't know, the thing that Sydney is known for. Let's take a screenshot of that. <laughs> nice 2D city. Whoops. Oh, this does not count as a pun room. That does, though, so. Whoosh. Let's see if we can get into the other attacking spawn. I don't think you'll be able to, but might as well check. Hey, turns out you can. <laughs> so yeah, you can get yourself stuck in here. That's pretty interesting. And of course you can't change heroes. <laughs> That's basically Icon Vault there. Uh, so what's the next one? Hollywood. I this one's gonna be a bit trickier to find a roof, maybe. Unless this... If this works, then it won't be. Whoops, I messed it up. Okay, this does work, so, yeah. Kinda? Nope. Try that again. Uh, maybe if we go to a different spawn. Oh, whoops. Okay, good. I can get into here. Uh, something tells me that this won't be high enough, sadly. Nope. Crap. Alright. Let's try the one in the middle, because I think that has pretty low roofs. It's closed. That's an attacker spawn. Huh. So looks like our best chance is going to be at getting out here. Well, this is just in the spawn room. I could build a little path. Oh, hey, there we go. Yes, yeah, a black bit, so I should be able to fly away. No, I messed it up. Crap. So 
So I'll just like trial and error. Alright, so now... Oh, there's an exit. And I messed it up again. Crap. Almost had it, but... I think Farah is moving too fast to really be precise. And again, I need the speed for... the exploration. Um, don't mess it up. Yay! We did it. Let's go see if that untextured building is still a thing. So... There. Nope, they textured it. Huh. Ah, uh, it looks like Hollywood's actually really tiny compared to the other maps. We have the payload path and from there it's pretty minimal. <laughs> Is that an airplane trail? Hold on, I want to see this start. Alright. Oh, there it is. Yep. That is an airplane. It looks like a military airplane. Oh, that's not physical, that's not. This is. You stand on this. Now, can we get into this spawn as well? Oh, hold on, actually. Yes, you can. Crap, I didn't mean to do that yet. <coughs> Let's get out of the map again, and I'm gonna go see the Hollywood sign. Oops, I think it needs to be just right there. Just a little... On the yellow, perhaps. No. <sighs> Let's see, maybe I need to be up against this. Oh, okay, that works. Now well, let's see if I can get out of here again. Ah, crap. <laughs> Just a bit too far to the right. Hey, once more. I have a feeling this hill is fake. Yeah, it is. What about the Hollywood sign? Is it fake? Yep, it was all the ruse. Any of the letters real? Oh, there's nothing over the hill. That's interesting. It's like they use this exact same hill. Alright, let's go see what this is. Observatory thing. Oops. Actually, I think I've seen this before in GTA. Maybe, maybe not.
Yeah, it looks like some rich guy's house, so... <laughs> what was that? I thought I just heard an airplane noise. So now we're going from Hollywood to King's Row. Neat. That pretty much sums that up. <laughs> now first I just want to... Alright, I guess you can slide off of that. Huh? Oh, I see. You don't actually get to stand there. Huh. I wonder if it's always been like that, where you can't... Darn, alright, I'm gonna have to be quick about this then. Crap. <laughs> and I messed it up. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> I don't think I'm able to fly while it's loaded. Whoa, what? Ah, oh, gosh darn it, again. I'm really bad at this. Yeah, something tells me that I can't get down here. Yep, I was right. That was a wasted attempt. But, I'll make it out this time. Alright, uh, let's get to exploring. You can see all these Omnic factories here. All overwatching the city from here. That's a full building. The Big Ben is fake. <laughs> See, the city's got a bunch of spotlights and stuff. Uh, kind of wonder where Widowmaker was whenever she shot the Omnic dude. If, like, that was here or what? Or maybe it's not a building on this map, but. Large city, big ship. I want to see what this is. Up close, anyways. Um, I'm not sure you should be doing that there. Yeah, I think he's a drunk driver. Oh, hey, hey, we got our Volskaya hover cars back again. <laughs> Although that this map is pretty minimum to its decorations. Seems like it's all decorated in the map. But regardless, I'm going to try and get inside since that's what I do. Alright, I'm going to try and get inside the attacker spawn is what I meant to say. Which seems like it's going to be easy. Yep. go eat dinner now. So, I will 
be right back. Probably like five, ten minutes I'll be back, so I'm gonna put on that BRB screen.
All right, I am back again. All right, let's get back. Try to run the King's Row. Now let's go to Numbani. How many more of these do we have? We have eight more of these, and then some of the elimination maps. Uh, I've just got a message. I thought I had notifications off. What is going on? Hang on a second. I'll get the map change. Oh yeah, the map's already changed. Restart that, see who's messaging. Interesting. I wonder if the other client isn't set. Oh, yep. That would be it. I'll set that up real fast. Yep, there we go. Now there will be no more distractions. Hopefully. Ooh, hey, that's just barely... Whoops. <laughs> Is there a certain distance up that you can't switch heroes or something? No. Good. Whoops. Ah, oh, crap. Looks like so I'm gonna have to navigate a little. Nope, yep, so that's it. You're up here and that's just it. Alright, let's find the spawn then. Or, you know, somewhere to actually be able to switch heroes. Oh, so I can just walk on these. Huh? Alright, let's try to go to another spawn room. See if that holds up any better. I feel like that's new. I know this is new. I haven't seen this quite yet. Well, we know we can get up there at least, so... <laughs> I'm not in the right spot. Unless, oh. Okay, that works. Off we go. <laughs> so here's the trees. Now the city, I would have swore that this city was small, so let's see if it holds up to what I think. From the looks of it, uh, it's actually going to be really large, just like all the other maps. Yeah, just like I thought, all of the buildings are actually huge now that I've gotten out here. I see a big, wide opening to get into the attacker spawn. Yeah, it seems like a lot of buildings are used, and there's actually some land textures over here. 
Nothing too interesting, though, out of this one. Hey, Borgy, welcome. Ah. Uh, yeah, as you can see, <laughs> I'm getting out of the maps right now. Uh, there's a Mercy glitch, or yeah, not Mercy, May glitch that was discovered where May's walls can now send her through roofs just like in the old... Uh, what's it called? Old... Eco Point Antarctica glitch. Except it's with every single map. So yeah, actually, no, I wanted to see... Something. I just need to check to see how... The uh, other part of the airport looks. And then I will go to the next map, which might be Ilios, I forget. Oh, I can't go in there. There we go, and oh crap! <laughs> we are in the airport, ready to... There's no runway, or like even an airplane or anything. I just realized that, there's no... No way this could be an airport, like not even from the outside would this work as an airport, because... See, there's just nothing... Nowhere to take off, because there's buildings all beside it. That's, that's interesting. I don't know where I'm at. Oh, that's where I'm at. Well, it looks like there's something... Ah, oh, that's right, there's a spawn room here. Drop down anywhere. Whoops. Yeah, alright, that's enough for this map then. Let's see what the next map is. And it is, in fact, Ilios. Oh, okay, Junker Town's on this list, so we'll get to see outside of that as well. It's a day one release. <laughs> or day two. I forget how long it's been out now. I think it was today, though. Right? If there's anyone in the chat, could you let me know that? What's fun about these maps is, I believe, uh, the map's actually stacked. Ooh. <laughs> See, instead of it just being one map by another, I think it was all stacked up in different levels. So that was... Did I not get out? Or... Ah, oh, crap, I don't think I did that right. Unless... Unless they patched this. Maybe you have to find a different way to get out. Oh, whoops. <laughs> right. I 
stand on this alone? No. <laughs> Can you normally just launch yourself? No, you can't really. Alright, now that we're done messing around with that. <laughs> That's fun to do. Sadly, that's not what I'm trying to do. Hey, all right. Now, did I accidentally just get myself back in the map? I did. I think I've figured out what to do, though. <coughs> hmm, sorry for coughing there. I think I need to first get up here, and with fire, like, yeah, quickly react to changing heroes. and just slowly weave my way around out of the map. And I've got myself back in the map. Crap. <laughs> okay, in the spawn room. Ah, I thought I was out. Even just like a, an inch. Oh, crap. Oh, oh wait. Come on! Ah, I was right on the edge. Yeah, as far as I know, this only works with May, so I don't know if there's actually another option for a hero. Can't stand on that. Oh, nope. This might actually be a... Oh, oh, hold on. Did we do it? No. We went the wrong way. Maybe I need to go that way. Huh, I wonder why... why this doesn't work. It's like I'm stuck. This little area. I shouldn't really be able to get stuck. Oh. Oh, what if there was a way to get out that way? I've got myself back. Oh, nope. I'm actually in the other side. <sighs> I'm 
It doesn't look like I'm getting much luck on here. However, I can not stand on that, so that doesn't work. Maybe, maybe on just like a little part of it. Yeah, right there. That works. So now I can take in more of my surroundings. But at this stage, I'm not really sure how to go about this. So that way is back into the map, and that way is in the other side of the map, so maybe like corner. Nope, I don't think the corner exists. Hmm. I'll try the other Ilios maps and see how they work out. I'll try that a bit later, though. It's kind of weird, though. It's like they've already expected this to happen on this map. problem here, uh, I feel like this is the same situation of both how to get out and how far I can get out. I think I might be right. Ah! Aha! No, they did not patch this one yet. And therefore, we can go up and see the different control maps. <coughs> So yeah, as you can see, what I was saying with Ilios, you've got that one there, and you've got the next stage, and even farther up than the next stage. And it's all one map. Yeah, first I want to see... Whoa, okay, I want to see that building. I think these are just foggy 2D textures. Yeah. I can guarantee you those are the same hover cars that are used on Volskaya. <laughs> just the little shades of light. See the fog slowly goes away. Looks like this glow effect is 2D. Oh hey, you can see all the mountains and crap. Maybe they are real things. Okay, no. If they are, then they're absolutely enormous. Like, way far out there, because... I was flying left and right. Like, I'm flying right right now. And they aren't moving at all. So, yeah, unless they're, like, the largest things in the world, I don't think they're real. That's an interesting design. That thing there. Don't know what it means though. So let's go see in 
see if the maps are like loaded in in HD or if they're just there. Cause for all I know, they just have it there for looks. But real quick, I'm gonna go up here right before I go down there and see if this is a real thing. Ooh, this is not real. Nope, it is not real, but rockets explode on most of it. Ah, man. Alright, and from first... first look at it, looks like the map is fully loaded in. Yeah, health packs and everything. Wow. Actually really impresses me. That means that if you load in on this map, you could escape and then go down to the there. Which is really interesting. Actually, kind of creeps me out that you could have people all over the maps. Oh, hey! Didn't realize that the kill gate would change like that. So maybe you can't do that. Maybe you can only go up but not down, kind of thing. Okay, or maybe you need to get so far outside of the map so you don't get hit by the kill gate. If that's that makes sense to me, at least. So you need to fly this way then. Yeah, because I died down there last time and now I'm good. This looks like there's barriers on where you can and can't fly. And yeah, this map too, fully loaded. So yeah, that's what I thought. You can go too high then fly too close to the sun and your wings melt. <laughs> it's like that Icarus story. Alright, let's move on to the next control map, Nepal. It Nepal's me that we've gotten this far so fast. Sorry about that, I was coughing. I have hiccups now as well. Oh, I feel so slow. <laughs> oh, that was awful. <sighs> so I jumped too far. But yeah, the nice thing about these is that you just have a single set path to go through before you can just get out of the map. Ah, oh, gosh darn this one too. Okay, yeah, not this one too, right? Right? Oh, am I still inside the map? I am. <laughs> okay, I didn't know. Can you go behind the sun? You can. This is a normal spot to be. So where is a not normal spot? Oh crap. This kind of hurts my plans. Oh, 
Well, this is the thing that you actually need a reaper for, or someone to teleport outside of it. I think that was the closest we could get to the outside, so it's got there, no. So, but yeah, right there, that might be our gate way out. it up. Let me just get a bit farther over. I wonder what that is, the red ice that explodes. You know, I wonder why it's there. Alright, you know, I'm gonna come back to Nepal as well on elimination maps. So, don't, I'm not gonna worry about that for now. Oh, Asus. I, um, I did already have an escape method on Oasis. So, no, that's right, that's right, it was patched. Can't do it anymore. Because I tried that on the live servers and it no longer works. So yeah, uh, I also added that to the YouTube title. It is patched on there as well. I forgot about that. Maybe this is a new way to get out. And I will prove it just for the sake of proving it. I'm on the wrong map anyways. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm not outside the map. <laughs> oh, hey. Well then. For a second, my eyes were a bit fuzzy, and I thought I saw nine viewers, but it still says zero. <laughs> Alright, I seem to have the most luck with the, this door here. Ah, oh, crap.
Oh, hey. Ah, crap. Didn't mean for that to happen. Well, alright, I'm gonna give up on Oasis as well for the same elimination maps to come. So, Dorado. Let's try it here. Yeah, it looks like that is too high of a wall, so... Oh, it does not work. Shoot. <laughs> What's happening to me? I can't move from here. Uh, I'm gonna restart the match. <laughs> that was an odd thing to happen. I'll actually try to go to the final spawn because I think that has a low roof in it. Whoops. Wait, hold on a minute. Can I just walk up here? No. <sighs> no. I'm going to try and stand on a fence now. Oh, that's the exact same height. Uh. Oh, I can't actually target a fence on its own. I shall try it in the doorway. I wonder if the walls were adjusted to be just high enough so then this couldn't happen. Alright, that works. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, hey, I think I see that sky code everyone was talking about. Unless it was removed. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, let's look around. Oh, whoa, I went really high up. I think that's supposed to be Castillo. I'm not sure. So yeah, we have Dorado here. Explore the nearby cities. Yeah, 
Uh, not too much. I think mean, this is actually the exact same layout, or very close layout as Castillo, except Dorado is large and Castillo is not large. And I believe this is it right here. See, see you can see it has has seen better days. And none of the bells can be rung. Am I cheating? Uh, I don't believe I am. I'll have to check with that. <laughs> no, um, actually, one of the Overwatch curious people, he discovered a glitch with May where you can go through walls, um, like ceilings and stuff with her May wall or whatever. And. I've just, I've, he said that you can get out of maps now with it, and I've just been going through every single map, getting outside of it. Or, you know, you can, like, take shortcuts and stuff. It's on, it's on the PTR, by the way. See, so yeah, I like that. <laughs> it's the easiest way to get out of any map I've ever seen. It just takes no effort at all for most of them. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Got worried there for a second. Couldn't fly anywhere. <laughs> Look at these fake rocks. You can walk on them though, that's... Yeah. This one, no, this one's real. Ah, uh, here's the train. Yeah, that's, that's probably what derailed it. Fact that there is no track. Ah, uh, yeah, you know that big explosion thing too. But who cares about that? Nope, can't walk on it. So from the looks of it, this train just kind of came out of nowhere and then was on the track. Which I don't know if trains are supposed to do that or not. Something tells me they aren't. Yeah, basically, this is probably the least decorated map I've seen yet. Just a bunch of rocks and crap. Which I mean, that means we get to Junkertown faster, because I want to save it for last. Yeah, it seems like, seems like there's nothing here. It's too bad that, oh, uh, yeah, Jeff and the Overwatch team haven't put any kind of easter eggs outside the maps in case ever, anyone ever figures out how to get outside. Just so then, like, that's their confirmation. Or, you know, just a little kick at them, like, hey, nice job. You broke our game. <laughs> Yeah, I would love a reward like that for every map I've gotten out of. Is that two minutes? What's in two minutes? Hang on a second. I'm breaking all the maps in Overwatch. Route 66. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, well, my brother wants to see uh, Junker Town, so I'm going to turn that on next, and watch Point Gibraltar will be last. Actually, yeah, I haven't seen Junker Town either, so this is going to be an experience. Yep, it works. <laughs> uh, hmm. I think I've run into a problem. Oh, I fixed it. <laughs> so let's just explore some of Junker Town and see if maybe we can get out this way. Nope. My god. No. <gasps> okay, no. For a second there, I thought these carts had wheels on them. That would have been bad. Then look. Curse Courage, the Cowardly Dog's House. when you walk on it. I'll kill myself and then try to get out again. Alright, let's try. Alright, that just takes me right out of the spawn into the middle of the map. I actually, I have no idea how to get back into the spawn. Oh, hey, I think I found the spawn room again, maybe. Nope. <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh, wait, there it is. This is a different one, actually. Fly straight up, and yes! We're out of the new map. Oh, hey, there's actually a little bit of town over here that you... Well, wouldn't even be able to see from over here, I don't think. Oh, yeah, I think this is the Courage House. Oh, crap, I went way too low. But hey, we're back into the spawn room. It's like a set of stairs. Where, where am I? There I am. Okay then. Can I not get on top of this? Right, forgot about that already. So I have to find stairs that go down. I think they're this way. Maybe. Yes, so I passed up the spawn completely. Oh 
here is also Alright, well, it looks like I have to go to the last spawn to get out of this map. So I'll do a little quick run away down that way. And I think it's here. I thought wrong. Oh, wait, here it is. Nope, this is the treasure room. Is there actually a different spawn room than found? Yeah, this one. And we're out times two. <laughs> Oh, hey, that's a solid floor. See, this will make it a bit easier to read the map, then. It's just a big snaking S into Junker Town. Oh, I think this is where our little animated short of Junker Town took place at. Yeah, this is actually a town. And this is a physical wall of junk. Alright. So it looks like a big barren wasteland with a town in the middle of it, and that little bit over there. So not too crazy as far as out of map goes. Let's try to get in the spawn and see what it looks like. Nope, I can't just walk through it. Darn. Can I fall through? No. Hmm. Maybe there isn't another way in from here. Alright, I'll try to go under a bit. This is all solid. <sighs> well, I'm gonna fly out to this thing. Uh, go explore some of the elimination maps. Not the ones I've already covered, though, because that would just be stupid to include in another video. Wait, well, actually. No, because the method's different now, so it wouldn't be too stupid. Oh yeah, that's right, watch point Gibraltar, forgot about that. See, now that I think that Oasis might have a different way of getting out. Oh, whoops. Whoa. Wait, where? 
Where was I just at? Oh, that's right. Okay, I thought I was in the last spawn room, and I got... I got so confused there. So then it seems to follow a little bit of a path, so you don't fly up above the floor. Oh, crap. Physical rocks. Uh, and crap. Come on. Hey. Not quite. Messed it up. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoa, that was like a sideways kill gate. Oh, hey. Well, I'm an idiot if I would've just gone the other way. <sighs> oh, what is this room? Oh, it's a spawn room. Yeah, okay. Oh, it was all broken and stuff, and it was just a... room that wasn't used. Yeah. So you basically just have watch point Gibraltar. Let's check out some of the things. Let's see. Is anything over here? Past the ship. Oh, what? <laughs> the fog following the ship's just the big... Or not fog, but the streamlines, the big square image. Alright, I'll get out one more time. Maybe not. Maybe I'll get out a few more times. Yeah, <laughs> I'll call that a few more times then. Seeing as I'm smart and know how to do things. Kind of interesting because Watch Point Gibraltar, I think, is a real life destination place, but it's just not like this, obviously. Oh, what? Those are actually physical objects. And, like, they would never be... Never be touched or even seen. I never saw that there. This makes more sense to be all physical and stuff, because... Well, it's something that you can see and shoot.
that was close. Oh, hey, the ocean just circles around this place. So now it's time to get on to the elimination maps. Let's turn on elimination, and I also want to get out of the Chateau Gilliard because I wasn't able to do that with traditional methods, and it's obviously it's not a traditional method. I guess now it could be considered that, but. So all off, start with Eco Point Antarctica, I've also never been outside of that map. Let's restart the match, get a drink of water. <coughs> I had to do a little cough there. Alright, so I'm going to use the same method that was used before for May. Oh, hey, I can't change heroes in here. That's not a good. Let's see if that changes anything. Oh, whoops. My bad. I'm gonna save the uh, Chateau map for last, just because it's new. I like to do new things last. And that's not what I meant to do. Oh, uh, okay, all the maps, except for this one, and the elimination maps are available in Skirmish. I'm actually going to turn deathmatch off. What? What in the world just happened? That's a weird bug. I guess we can get out of where we usually can. So we just can't switch heroes then. So yeah. Oh, whoa, all my settings reset themselves, what? Why is this... a thing now? Huh, that was... that's weird. Uh, I wonder if... I'm not gonna be able to switch heroes in... Deathmatch, which would mean that I wouldn't be able to actually get anywhere. Which might really suck. Let me just disable deathmatch. What? Oh. 
Oh, because I didn't have any map chosen. Any of the other things. Wait, don't start it yet. So, so deathmatch eco point. I want elimination eco point. And we're in, or getting in. Hope that we can change. Yes! Alright, this is what I needed. A nice. And for the first time in forever, I am outside of Eco Point Antarctica. In with the original crowd. Little tiniest map ever. Hardly. I can now take. Route 66 off of the top least integrated map because this is exactly what you get. What you get is what you see. We don't go into the map. I want to sit on the helicopter. Actually, I'm surprised that they didn't change the map as was seen in the animated short where the ice was holding this up. I feel like that should be done. See, other than the fact that there's nothing on this map. Pretty neat. <laughs> See if they put cups of tea on all the... Oh, Alright, unless it was already like this. Which, you know, very well could have been already like this. Then I like that they did this. Here, little slippers. Oh, you actually can't move these. <laughs> Alright, well, that was a quick one. Head on to the next map. Um. I think I'm not gonna do Ilios just because I don't want to like waste time and have it not work after it's already not worked. So Necropolis and will that be considered it? No, that's right. I want to see if there's a way to get out of the city center again because I think the old way was patched out. Unless Diva still works. But yeah. This is the last map that I am going to do that I've not done yet. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, <laughs> I guess that's a fast way to get out of here. Have no one know where you are, you're just like, yeah, I'm already, oh, whoops. Like, yeah, I'm already up here, which you, which you got on me. Bam, and everyone's like, whoa, who's that cool dude? And it's like, yeah, it's me. And not, not really. Whoa, whoa, look at that cooldown. Negative one. Wait, wait, wait. Crap. Something tells me I need to be 
next to this corner. <clears throat> All right, I think I'm almost there. Hey! After thinking it was not possible after its release, it finally is, and you can get out of Necropolis. Little baby vamp. I want to go see what that city is all about. <coughs> I, f I think that cough is really loud, so I'm sorry for that. <laughs> oh yeah, I see. I see this building from yeah, this car. Unless it's gone now, which kind of looks like it is. I also can't tell where the kill gate is, which is kind of terrifying, because... I think it might be near the same... Oh, yep, there it is. So, crap, let me just get back to there. Build is worth fighting for. Whoops, times two. Well, that was nice and easy that time. Oh. I went too close to the map. So it turns out I need to go this way whenever I change to Farah. Not up. Why did I go up? <laughs> I will protect the innocent. This is gonna get. It's probably gonna get really annoying, or it already has, like, years ago. Now I know not to go too low either. So I just grab myself some height. <sighs> oh, it's quite a stretch. Oh hey, I can already see the hover cars. The Volskaya hover cars. This will be like, trademarked by Volskaya. 
Unless these are real cars, but I don't think they are. I think this is supposed to be a part of Temple of Anubis. Not entirely sure. But yeah, you can see the Voskaya cars. Oh, nope, too deep here, mid. So that would just make it a tr- <gasps> It's a triangle, the Great Triangle. Well, that's actually a little disappointing. I mean, at least it's not like Eichenwald, which had a 2D city. Oh, that's just a part of the textures, it's foggy. Huh. That's a bit interesting of a style. See, there's a building there that would never even be seen. It's still got to be there. All right, well, with that, we'll be done. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of maps broken in one video uh, slash stream. I'm putting on this. I'm putting this on YouTube, by the way, which is probably where a lot of people are gonna be seeing it from if they're watching this. So yeah. Without further ado, I'm gonna leave so then everyone's excited and happy. See ya next time I do this.